Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Coffee with Content Creators podcast. My name is Rob Balasabas. I'm wondering if you've ever felt like, you know, your network is growing faster than you can keep up. Sorry if I'm standing up. I'm, I'm just trying to walk around here if you're watching the video version. Um, yeah, wondering if you ever feel like your, you know, your network um, is growing faster than you can keep up. Um, you know, today's virtual world, like myself, and I'm sure like you, you're doing a lot of Zoom calls and you're hopping on calls and um, to either uh, reconnect with an old colleague, maybe somebody that you've done business with in the past. And, um, you know, how do you actually maintain these relationships afterwards, right, to scale them? And um, that's kind of what I want to talk about in this episode and really sharing some things that I've learned recently on a conversation uh, that I had with a colleague and how to just not make just like not just make these connections but keep them alive and keep them actually uh, you know nurtured um, and so I want to share some of those uh, things that I actually learned from my colleague recently on a call that I had with him and a catch-up call ironically enough and so I uh, really want to dive that into that with you today in this episode I think we're in episode 167 or 68 I think um, and so thank you so much if you've been here with us for a while I've uh, been with me here hanging out on the podcast for a while and if you're new then welcome back to the podcast uh, really glad to have you here um, yeah, so like I said, um, I had a call recently with an old colleague of mine. I'm not going to name names, uh, but great guy, uh, connected with him um, because he actually sent out this newsletter that he sends to his family and friends. Um, and so I replied. It's been a while since I you know, have caught up with him. And so I replied to the email and I said something to the effect of, uh, hey, bro, it's been so long. Nice to hear from you. Uh, love to hear all the updates that's happening with your family. And sounds like business is going really well. Uh, let's catch up. And, and then that was a few days ago. And then today we had a call today. <laughs> so it's great. Um, and he shared some really good advice. You know, he's, he's this is somebody that I look up to quite a quite a fair bit in terms of uh, his career moves and what he's done with his, you know, on the professional side of his life. And he's also a dad like myself and um, yeah, just a great guy. And so we really just talked about, you know, sort of war stories of like, you know, previous roles and kind of what we've been doing um, at different companies and what he's up to and what I'm up to. And it was really good, like sort of the economic climate right now, our industry right now, what's happening with our industry and where things are moving and shifting and um, it was a really good catch up, catch up um, session. And so, um, you know, I thought I'd share that with you. You know, it's really easy to kind of reach out. Um, I find this myself. Um, I don't know about you, but I make a point um, every single week to can either a reconnect with, you know, old colleagues, people I've done work with, uh, partners, uh, people that I've done business with in the past in our industry, and just make sure that I'm reconnecting, I'm, you know, learning what's happening, what they're doing, share notes. But I'm also connecting with new folks, you know, especially if you're on, on LinkedIn like myself, um, you're always connecting with somebody new, right? Uh, it just happens. And so, you know, when there's folks out there that I want to connect with, uh, usually we'll reach out and say, hey, we'd love to learn more about what you're working on. Would love to know, you know, uh, what your business focus is right now, uh, what you guys do. I'd love to share what we do. And maybe there's some overlaps um, in some of those things. Now, the challenge for me and also for, for my friend uh, that I got to catch up with today is that it's not about connecting or reconnecting with folks. It's actually then the challenge is kind of scaling the nurture after you've made that initial connection or that catch up, right? It's very easy. Sometimes if you look back, maybe even yourself, but even for me, I look back, I'm like, man, I talked to this person today. Um, it's been a while since I talked to them because again, some of those relationships, because you're not doing work right away together, maybe you don't do business together right away. It just kind of falls to the wayside, right? You're still in contact, maybe on social media or things like that, but you don't really sort of touch base directly. Um, and so my friend that I got to talk to today, I just wish I could sh share his name, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep the mystery. I'm not gonna share his name. Um, he actually uses a, a quarterly personal newsletter as, an, as, an, as a way to stay connected with a large group. Um, and so this is his, what he calls his friends and family newsletters, very casual in tone. 
Uh, it's like he's writing to a friend. It doesn't even look like a newsletter. It looks just like plain text email. Um, he's sharing personal updates, family news, and then also projects that he's working on. Um, you know, there's no hard selling or anything like that at all. It's just purely relationship nurturing. The surprising benefit though for him is that, that he shared with me is that it often, pretty much every single time that he sends this, he'll get referrals. Uh, without even pitching or selling, right? People will just like, hey, by the way, oh, this is the kind of things you're working on. Hey, I have a friend or like we're doing something or like, you know, I know somebody that, you know, hey, my golf buddy is, um, you know, actually looking for somebody just like you to kind of help him with, you know, solving this particular challenge in their business and you guys should connect. And so he gets referrals from these, uh, from this friends and family newsletter that he sends out, which is really cool. I love the idea. That's how we connected today because I saw the friends and family email came to me, which is cool because I'm, I guess I'm on the friends and family uh, list, which is great. Um, and so it really does work for him. So, eh, you know, I, it really piqued my interest. The other thing that he does is a more business oriented newsletter. This is kind of what you would expect on a monthly basis, uh, which is really focused for his, it goes to his referral partners and colleagues, people he's worked with in the past, people that are referral partners that he does business with on a regular basis. He shares actionable tips or industry insights, you know, for example, like, you know, Black Friday, for example, is coming up. So he'll share some, you know, ways to make sure that you're taking advantage and leveraging Black Friday as a, you know, as a sales event for your business, um, you know, tips on how to improve email open rates or how to decipher, you know, your analytics, you know, and, and things like that for your paid ads, for example. And so he'll share really actionable tips. Now, this, you know, practical value that, you know, really keeps him in touch with his business connections really provides uh, them with tools that they can use or that they can share and, you know, and kind of circles back to him, right, which is really cool. Um, and so, as I thought about this, I really love this advice. It might be something I implement, but I thought I would just share with you guys. You know, I think the idea of a uh, sort of friendship and business, you know, I think it's really interesting sharing, you know, sort of sending a mix of personal stories, but also business value and showing your thought leadership and your expertise uh, through a newsletter. Um, it's really interesting. Having multiple types of newsletters is also really interesting. Um, and those personal communication can really create a deeper connection with uh, your, your contacts, right? With those connections that you've made, right? And so I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. You know, um, the other thing that I would share when it comes to virtual networking, because the advice after sort of, con you know, the conversation that we had, um, my friend was like, hey, you should really double down triple down, quadruple down on networking and virtual networking. I mean, I, I mean, of course, also in person whenever there's opportunities because I do get to travel quite a fair bit and go to different conferences and things like that. So there is opportunities for in-person networking, but he says definitely virtual networking, which I feel like I already do. And so I would actually love to hear from you if that's something that you do. Um, on a weekly basis? Are you connecting with new folks in your industry or people that are maybe complementary to you, complementary services that could be potential business partners or referral partners or collaboration partners, co-marketing partners, um, people that you can work with, referral partners, that sort of thing. Um, and so are you using those? Are you doing that? Are you doing video calls or maybe sending out regular messages, catch-up messages? Do you use a uh, CRM, uh, you know, something like pipe drive or, you know, a, another tool similar to that to then keep track of all of your different, um, you know, connections. Really curious if that's something that you do. Um, you know, I think it's something that you can, you know, this is something that is important to you, uh, especially if you have a service-based business. Um, if you do coaching, consulting, I think this is really important that you do have a scalable networking plan um, where you might, you know, just some things to think about is scheduling, you know, catch up calls or virtual coffees regularly with your key connections, uh, sending personal or business newsletters, right? Just like I was talking about here to update your network and really stay visible and top of mind. 
and uh, just creating a rhythm for staying in touch, you know, quarterly newsletters, monthly updates, that sort of thing, and really laying that out in a way so that it is there is a plan in place and you're not just kind of doing it sort of ad hoc and, um, you know, on the fly, you know, and so I guess as we kind of land the plane here on this particular episode, just want to share, I just really want to share that conversation with you. I think that's, uh, that was such a, a blessing to have that conversation today. And just like the different insights is always really helpful. Um, and uh, hopefully my friend here will actually, I'll invite him to the podcast so you guys can actually meet him. So a ton of wisdom when it comes to marketing is probably one of the smartest marketers I know. Um, and so I think just, you know, sort of takeaways that I'd love for you to, uh, to take away, (laughs) um, on this episode is a, the balance, the importance of balancing one-on-one networking with scalable methods like newsletters to keep in touch and nurture those new connections, um, sharing personal stories, um, and business strategies, you know, sort of the blend always very important. You don't want to just be all about business. You do want people to. You want to let them in a little bit on your personal uh, stories, your personal experiences a little bit. It's really up to you how much, but I think it's important. People want to know who they're doing business with. And then lastly, networking isn't really just about constantly selling. Um, I've never been a good salesperson. It's not my approach. It's not my style. I don't enjoy selling. I'd rather educate and bring value in that sense. And if they choose to do business with me, that's great. You know, if they choose to bring me on the team, great. You know, but I'm not going to be uh, the guy that's going to be doing the, you know, um, what do they call it? The dog and pony show. You know, I'm not going to do a big show and tell um, and sell you and ABC always be closing. That's not me. That's not me. All right. But always you know, you want to be networking and without really constantly selling, really show interest in the other person that you're networking with and connecting with. What are their goals? If you can help them achieve what they want to achieve, uh, then most likely you'll be fine. You know, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine financially. You'll be fine. Um, so it's really about staying connected, sharing value and building trust over time. Right. So, um, so I guess my, my, my challenge to you is to reconnect with somebody from your network Uh, today, tomorrow, okay? Depending on when you're listening to this episode, if it's already almost bedtime, do it tomorrow. But I encourage you, I challenge you to reconnect with somebody uh, from your network, reach out to them on LinkedIn or Instagram, email, and also consider creating, and I'm happy to try this with you. If you're down to do this, send me a message, creating your own quarterly personal or business-oriented newsletter, friends and family newsletter, whether it's monthly, Every two months, quarterly, I think it's really, I think that's a great idea. It's a great idea. So that's my challenge to you. Um, And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, We have more episodes coming. There's more episodes that are already ready for you to listen to. Uh, If we're not connected on LinkedIn or Instagram yet, or if you're not following me on on, uh, YouTube, then make sure you do that. Find the link in the description or in the show notes. Um, Really enjoyed uh, sharing this with you. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that I typically share in this podcast. It's just stories and things that I'm learning. Um, And so hopefully you're finding value in it. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, uh, I'm really easy to reach. All right. Leave a comment if you're here on Spotify and um, yeah, share this with somebody. Share share this episode with somebody in your network and uh, we'll talk soon. All right. God bless you. Take care.